Let us look forward to the counting of all votes. I am very confident that we will have that great opportunity to take our new generation ideals to Washington. Confidence on Tuesday, concern by Thursday. Momentum had turned against Team DeMaio and toward Team Peters. You know, the way the registration is and the way early voting goes, we're really happy to be where we are. And where they are is pulling away, as Peters did in his 2012 victory over three-term incumbent Brian Bilbray. This time in a race where Republican voters turned out in force as they always do for midterm elections. And what's really interesting about the 52nd race is that those voters didn't go for Carl DeMaio. They, uh, they, in large part, in some of the east of I-15, some parts of Point Loma, some traditional Republican strong, stranglehold, there was a, a, a very pronounced overperformance for Scott Peters in those districts, which, mean, which means that Republicans, in a wave of Republican enthusiasm across the country, uh, voted for Scott Peters more than you might imagine. Political strategists doubt the sexual harassment allegations against DeMaio had great impact on the numbers. But they think opposition efforts depicting him as a tool of the Tea Party did take a toll. Across the country, the polls have shown that the word Tea Party is very venomous. It just it really kills things, which is why the campaign did their due diligence and why they put all their money into several ads that emphasized the Tea Party. That was one of the major points that the Peters campaign knew was going to work, 